This is an experiment based on the work of Mr. Frank Wyatt Pentreese. You can find this on the internet. This is just a variation. It is not using exactly all he required, but I wanted to see if this was able to have any principles that would be uh, valid. This is my setup. I have 150 foot of wire going out, five foot across, then coming back, and it's hooked up to a frequency generator on one side as the input and on the oscilloscope side is the output from the accumulator. I've run different frequencies. I had 488 kilocycles. So around that, uh, different uh, voltages when you have about three to six inches off the ground you have to adjust it so i'm going to start all over again we'll start from scratch the oscilloscope's on a two volt per division that's showing right now uh i had it before about 18 19 20 volts peak to peak and that's on the output side so i'm going to disconnect everything we'll start over I have three LEDs hooked up to the output side at the moment. This is the frequency generator. This is part of the LED. And this is my oscilloscope or output side. I have uh, two ground wires here. They're about 10 foot apart. Seemed like I uh, kicked in a little bit more power when I had two. But it would work with one okay also. So this is my input for the first wire going out. This is the second leg of the wire coming back. And then I have two grounds put together. So right now I want to have only the frequency generator and the oscilloscope hooked up. And that will just show you what's going on with no load. Oscilloscope directly to the frequency generator. 2 volt scale it looks like uh, 2, 4, 6, 8 about 9 volts somewhere in there and that's with no load anytime there's a load onto a power source it'll uh, draw it down so it's less so right now I'll hook up the input okay, and I'm going to bring the oscilloscope over and this is the frequency generator hooked to the input of the earth power uh, generator. So it's kind of fuzzy there but we've got two, four, six, around eight, eight volts. So, get a uh, pen. We have eight volts, eight to eight, 
or nine, nine or eight. Direct to the oscilloscope, it was nine. Hooked to the input, is eight volts peak to peak. Okay. I'm going to take the oscilloscope lead that was on to the input. I'm going to bring it over now to the output. And you can see how it jumped up. Uh, if it was loaded down, it would have actually been less. But apparently it's accumulating. You can read the uh, Pendrift, Pentrice. So now we want to see what's going to go on when we hook up our LEDs. So now I'm on the input side. I have the oscilloscope showing what it's like. I'm going to put on the ground for the LEDs. I have three of them in series. I'm sorry. This is on the input side. So we're just seeing what happens when we go from the frequency generator to the LEDs. They do not light up. It's hooked onto the input. Now we're going to take the LED and bring it over to the output side. And we also have to bring our oscilloscope over to get a reading. And you can see they come on. And we're, we're still having quite a bit of voltage. It comes down a couple volts because it's loaded down with the LEDs. Let's see what it does. So it's loading down some, but it's pulling the current and the voltage out. So if we had 8 volts peak to peak earlier, and that was just with the generator and the oscilloscope, but now we have our LEDs lit. on the output and we're hitting 2 volts per division we have somewhere around 16 volts so that's uh, about a 200 percent increase if I have that correct so this is uh, this is not what the Mr. Patrice had had on his setup but this is something really easy if you have an oscilloscope and a uh, frequency generator so simple and you see there I'll take the uh, LED and if we go over on the other side there we're going to have to bring our oscilloscope over this way. And it's not enough power of the light. Now I, I had adjusted the frequency generator volume just so that I was at the point where they were going to light. And you just don't quite light. That's where I, I uh, started my experiment at right there so I figured that uh, if I had any gain then I would have the LEDs light in which they do so bring back the oscilloscope side uh, that's the oscilloscope side and then we'll bring the LED over so we're accumulating earth uh, power and so the principles seem to be pretty solid it seems to be scalable and something with uh, very little in input you can get uh, equipment I'll just show you briefly 
inside what I have. I have my wires, ground wires. There's my one earth ground, and my other ones over in the corner there, about 10 foot apart. And then uh, you see my first post down there for the wires, and they they just continue out there. And uh, I put little. plastic pipe just to hold them off the ground so thank you for watching so much